Hi, my name is Randall Good. I'm a shorts programmer here at Slam Dance, and this is Slam Dance TV. We've got some amazing experimental filmmakers who have films at the festival this year. Please introduce yourselves and tell us what your film is and tell us a little about it. I am um, Rachel Morgan, and I produced and edited the film Cloud of Petals uh, with Sarah. Hi, my name is Sarah Mayohas. Uh, Cloud of Petals started as an art project where I got 10,000 roses and had 16 temp workers in the former Bell Labs picking and photographing every petal. And we got a data set of 100,000 images and then applied a machine learning algorithm to create new digital petals. Uh, my name is Chris Bishop. I made a short experimental film about news media and sort of news fatigue in a way, but not not just news media, but commercial media at large, and sort of imagining that as an inhabitable space um, and the challenges that I, I think many of us are contending with in that space. Hi, I'm Caitlin Craggs. Uh, I uh, made a film called Are You Tired of Forever? It is a piece that came out or was birthed out of a frustration as a filmmaker with the fact that I only had two senses to work with or two senses to exploit, that being the visual and the aural, and a desire to engage a fuller sensorium in my viewers. And then lots of other stuff sort of came out of that, but it's a very, it's kind of just like a long montage. I imagine that there's probably more than a few viewers who maybe haven't encountered work that is considered quote unquote experimental before. And you know, sometimes uh, people ask me what it means in the festival, and it's it's a tough thing because categorization is weird, and we don't like it. But we don't like sort of like separating things out from each other. <laughs> but we also want to create a home for some work that is like really non-narrative, and uh, is really kind of not about storytelling, but is about something different than that. And I would love to hear you guys just talk about sort of how you conceive of quote unquote avant-garde or experimental filmmaking and kind of how you think about that relating to the film that you have here. Well, this is actually a pretty good question for me because I usually produce narrative films. And when Sarah approached me, she had this idea. And it was an idea that was not all over the place, but it was she was like, I want to take apart 10,000 roses with 12 different guys, and we're going to film it in this space. And I'm like, OK, so what's the plot? <laughs> like, what's happening? Like, who's the character? What's happening? And when we worked together, we had like, these general ideas. And then when we got to set, we like broke it down in these ways of like visual movements. So we would shoot these scenes, really describe like colors and textures. And for me, it was like so freeing because we could just shoot anything that looked like beautiful and cool, and had like movement. And it was just like such a freeing process to like not be like, you know, interior bedroom night. It was just was wonderful to be able to create something that had like a, like an emotion and a feeling, and that, that this piece of cinema could live in the art world and also live um, now at festivals. So it's been really great. The whole project itself was an experiment. You know, when we gathered 100,000 images, I wasn't sure what would happen with them. And it was only once we started editing that we realized, oh, we need to shoot again. I think coming from the fine art world, it fits so easily into experimental film. And, and it fits, fits so naturally. The character is like the snake. The snake yeah. is a character, but the people in the film are not characters. They're just supposed to be humans that are working, and they're supposed to be just humanized enough so that you feel some empathy towards them, but they're really not the subject. The subject is the roses. I think there's something in that, in not knowing, um, that's related to the cloud of definitions that maybe I think about when, when I think about that term, experimental. There's an exploratory element for me that's core to it. There's a, an inquisitive process, non-predetermined um, approach, um, which is not to say that there can't be like a very specific um, topic or issue or set of ideas that are being addressed, even though there's a, a, a deep history and rich history of experimental film and avant-garde or what have you are like not building on a on a convention that's that pre-exists and more like radially and three-dimensionally splintering off in different new hybrid directions i've never <laughs> thought of myself as an experimental filmmaker until i got programmed into this festival as an experimental filmmaker and I, honestly i i have to say that i i might call my work something else i have been seen as this now 
So <laughs> therefore I am. Uh, you know, it's, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that to me, yes, there is sort of the, the, as an artist, your approach, your tactic toward making the work can be experimental and that has its own contextual relevance based on, you know, how you've thought about making work before and you choose to make choices or chances or, you know, adapt your method. And then there's the experimental concept of like, it is within the context of larger cultural landscape in which you exist. Um, and and uh, and that changes all the time, constantly, as does your own personal practice. I, when I think about your film, I think like you know that's not a narrative because I don't know. There's human forms in it, and there's a person who we don't really see all of at any given time. But like, sh you know, there's there's no characters to follow. There's not a progressive story. I mean, sometimes there's a progression of images, and you can sort of say, oh, guess I guess that it has a narrativity to it, but. Otherwise, films like that, that don't really have a narrative, but are still amazing, oftentimes kind of fall by the wayside at maybe other festivals or out in the world. And there's a lot of value and like a lot of, like all your films are like wildly entertaining mm. and sometimes like really moving and provocative. And it's like, we want to have Experimental be a place for films like that. And maybe they don't have a place many other places, but we want to be one of them. And and then also to think about it too, like sometimes thinking about experimental as an adjective, it's sort of like certain things are kind of experimental. They're really, uh, they're really different. And that's like how we want almost all the films in the entire festival to be. So you can have an experimental narrative. Yeah, great, that's a narrative. But like, what about the films that aren't even narrative and like yeah. you, that wouldn't even work in that. Yeah. And on that note, uh, I think we're gonna have to sign off. Thank you so much for watching Slam Dance TV. Please check out all these films at Slam Dance or find these filmmakers on the web. They're amazing. They do great work. Thank you so much.